Oh, good morning, everybody. We are going to do a quick visit. Maybe not so quick. I don't know. Let's we'll see. But we're going to check out the next page on our layout collection. So we've already done this one and this one. And now let's see what we're at. Okay. So this is real basic, this one. I mean, we do this all the time, right? I mean, it just is, we do all the time. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna see. We want the butterfly stamp. We want the butterfly stamp. Okay, come on, come on. Got it? We want this die. And we have to figure out which one, which next one. Do we want this one with the smaller? Or do we want this one here, which would give us a bigger border? Let me see. Okay, we're gonna go with this one because of the way the butterfly fits. And this one. And I'm wondering if the just a note, there's just a note. Just a note. And is that little piece yes but which one is it it looks like a big one but okay it's this one this not the smallest the next one up from the smallest and these all came off <clears throat> And this one, of course, will be very easy to do in a different size. And the last two ones I did, I did in a different size. So I'm going to maybe just make it the way it is. And then come back and maybe, maybe change it up a little bit. Um... Just mostly because I believe that you don't really need, um, this is something that we do all the time. I mean, we might put our sentiment in a different spot. We may not have this, but we do this matte layering stuff all the time. What happened to the little stamp? There it is. Who that scared me. <laughs> I'm going to move these over here, and I have the stamps stuck to the lid. And I'm going to look through here for, I don't really know about coloring in that. I will, I'll color in that butterfly. We'll do it their way. Let me find some pink. So here's the pink, bright pink. Um, I know I have white. I know I have plenty of white. <coughs> I have white. I don't know where that came from. Let's see, do we have a pattern paper? Yes, there is a pattern paper. There is a pattern paper and it appears to be um I really like all these patterns, but that appears to be one of the um one of my more favorite ones of these. 
think. I mean, we can do any pattern paper we want to do, but is this the one? Yep, this is it. See, I've already used one of them. Now I'm going to use the other one of them. All right, and um, another thing that kind of makes a difference is, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait one minute. I need to see if this butterfly has a dye or if we're going to be fussy cutting it out. Unlock these. Sorry about the hit in the camera. I just want to see if that butterfly has a die. No. So that butterfly has to be fussy cutted. Fussy cutted. Fussy cut it out. So I'm not going to be using. I'm not going to be using the butter cut machine. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. For these, right? <laughs> for all of this, I am. Okay, so let's read the instructions here. And cut a layer, cut and layer. Uh... Now here, and this is the weird thing, right? As they were just talking about this on Crafter's Companion today. They're saying how some people are like three and three quarters of an inch. And other people are like 3.75 of an inch. 0.75 of an inch. No, it's three and three quarters. It's fractions when you're dealing with the inches. But they were talking about it because she was saying, Becky saying that's how she measures it. And it would be easier for her if they used the decimal instead of the fraction. Because that's how she does it. Well, when you have these... It says on here three quarters, a half. You never see 0.75 or 0.50 or 0.25, right? You just don't see that on here. It's always the fractions. So that's the one thing about this template library is they're using the decimal points. I do have a piece of paper that has it. So far, I haven't needed to have it, but trim a 4.125 inch by half inch strip. You know, <laughs> four in what? 1.25. No. And why would that be longer? Cut and layer. Oh, that's for the pattern. What about... They have this, like, 3.875 square of black cardstock. Attach the piece onto a 4x4 four four card. Like, I am not doing all of this. Now, what is the size of this paper? Okay. This is eight by eight. So I'm gonna come to the four, I guess I didn't need to um, turn it. I could have just left it because it's eight square, so. Here we go. Four inch, can cut that in half. Score on it. Four, so eight, eight square. It's a little long.
just a little bit. I'm going to score it. Uh, at four. So don't push down too hard. Go over it a few times instead. And that separates your fibers better. That's what they say, folks. That's what we do. And I did notice it does seem to work. Better see how clean. No cracked edges. No. When I come back and burnish it, it might. Boy, that is a small card. Really small. So we will be doing huh, another one. And it will be a different size. But it's going to be mine. My take on this instead of their take on this. Okay. I'm not doing their measurements. I'm just not doing their me not doing their measurements. I'm doing my own measurements. I don't recall seeing black paper in the box. Uh, let's look and see. Some black paper in there, but I don't recall. I think I'm going to have to find my own black paper. Because I... No black. I mean, that could have given us a stack of black, right? They could have. If they wanted to, they could have. But they didn't. That's all right. I just have to find some black here somewhere. This is the bad part about um, doing my own, you know, um, what was I going to say? I don't even know. This is a more like a dark gray and I'm just going to use that because this is small anyways. So, this is four by four. So, I'm going to come and I'm going to go three and three quarters because I like to go down a quarter inch. So, that's just what I'm going to do. No matter what their measurements say, I'm going to do my quarter inch. So, I need to do three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. About three and three quarters. And then the pattern paper. And I could do it smaller if I want. Um, but that needs to be cleaned up right there. But I, mean, I want it to stay. Is that... Now, on this side, it looks cleaned up. On this side, it looks... So, I just stick it on this side. Three and three quarters. Theirs is a smaller... Theirs is a smaller... Theirs is very small. But I'm going to stick with my three and three quarters. And then I'm going to take this. And this is going to go three and a half. Because I'm going down a quarter. So I'm going to go to three and a half. Three and a half. I can go to the bigger three and a half size. Three and a half. About three and a half. So that'll go like this. doesn't seem very straight does it but there it is and then they got a little strip the strip is a half inch strip at 4.125 I don't know what 4.125 is this is 
Okay, so I'm going to do a half an inch, half an inch. Hmm. Eight, right? Not quite eight. So let me see if I'm here. There's. There's a lady out here walking it. And I'm looking, I'm like, oh my gosh, she can barely walk. She might need help. And just as I'm looking, somebody pulled up to give her a ride. So she's all right. Half inch. I don't like that that didn't line up nice. It's bigger on one side. I'm going to have to do it this way. I was going to cut with the slack on the other side, but. They're using a half inch. And all I do is come, put it on, and then I just trim it off the, off the edge. That's what I do. That's how I do it. Um... So that's what I'm going to do. And I don't like the way this paper does not seem to be even. So I am going to... I don't know. I don't think that helped. I think it messed it up worse. Let me see. Let me get some scissors here. Oh, oh, oh. It did mess it up worse. I might just come in and get another piece of paper, another strip. It's not. That's good. That should be good, I hope. Okay. Then I've got these. Now this can go away. And now I can cut my white any color I want. But I'm going to do this in the pink. In the pink. And... Use my simple thing there because it's just simple dyes I got left in in the white. So this, where's the other dye that I had? Out. There it is. This will go in the white. Putting stuff away that I still need. <laughs> okay. So the white and the pink. And like I said, these are so simple so they can definitely go on my junior plates and I don't need to worry too much about the extra, like the plastic. Well, I get the plastic. It's the uh, magnetic. That at this point is not here. It's here somewhere, but. Not here right now. So. Then my plastic. And then this. I like to use my lightest. Uh, plate. Sandwich. As possible. 
so that I'm not. I guess what I'm saying is I don't want to break in my machine. It'll break in soon enough. I don't want to force it and have it. Uh oh. This did not go well. Ugh. This did not go well. It slid. Let me see if I can get that back. Looks like I can. Okay, so that slid. Let me put that back. And it's got to stay where it's supposed to be. Got to stay. All it needs is that edge. Just need that edge. Oh, plastic. Shit. And this. Uh oh. How come it doesn't want to take it? I don't understand. Why does it not move this out of the way here? For some reason, it's not wanting to take my plate. There we go. I don't know what that was. I had to really, really stick it down in there. Maybe it wasn't registering my plates. Because part of the reason, supposedly, the other ones are white is to help the machine register the plates. So that could have had something to do with it. Here are my dies. Let's stick this over here. I don't, don't want to lose this stuff. And I'm so afraid I'm going to lose it. Okay, so this and this and this and this need to all come together and be like this and this and then this. Wow, you don't hardly see any of that pattern paper. That is like the biggest waste of pattern paper. And really nothing's gonna change that. That is just what it is. So we're just gonna keep it their way. We're gonna do it the way they say. Okay, now. We need to stamp the butterfly. Um, waterproof. No, these are alcohol. So I need alcohol. Let's see which one is this. Alcohol proof. And putting the paper on on the stamp and not the that's interesting this is pebble which will give it a softer look which isn't necessary because you get the black around of course this is not a solid true black it's kind of a darker gray so actually this color this pebble might just look really really good I'm not going to layer up my colors on this butterfly. Look at that. Turned out pretty good, I think. Okay. 
And while I have everything out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink this and I'm going to stamp it. I did have the die for this out, but I think this is going to be too big. So we'll see. I'm going to think the stamp, but the die will be too big. Just a note. There we go. Now, put that away. I'm going to grab these. These colors to do my butterfly. Uh, I really don't know what colors I got these came from. My packet from um, a lot of colors in here. Sorry about that sound. This came from my packet from Scrapbook and Make Simple. So what I might do is any other ones I think I could overlap. I might just go ahead and do a little bit of extra coloring. So wow, that's a lot of coloring in there. I'm going to do some pink. No, I'm just coloring. I am not. If I. Try to put highlights and stuff in there. This would become. One very, very long video. I'm gonna do pinks. Um, I normally don't do a lot of pink. And you're probably thinking, yeah, I heard that before. But this pink was there, so. These markers are really wet. I don't know what kind of paper I'm using either right now. So to be honest, I don't know how this inking is going to turn out. I might go ahead and come in here with this color, peach, and just kind of mm, hit the tip. I know that might be darker. I thought it was going to be lighter, but it may actually be darker. I just hit these tips. Just to give them something. Come back in with the pink. Just kind of do a over a little bit. Alright, that's that pink. So now let's do these. Purple, red, wild purple. Let's see which one is the darker one. Here we go. Wait, ooh, that's not as pretty as I thought it was going to be. They're pretty close to the same color. This one, I think, is the darker. But this one is the prettier. I don't think I'm going to use that color. I'm not so sure. 
I like it. See, that's kind of browny. And that's supposed to be a purple. I'm going to leave those alone. We got these purples. Hyacinth and lavender. So, lavender and Here's a hyacinth. Okay, so lavender first. And I think I'm just going to come in and just kind of do this whole bottom. The whole bottom and the lavender. Okay. And I'm going to come in here and I'm not much for flicking and I know this is where I should be like flicking it in like that. And then you come back with this one. And you just kind of make that a little bit a blend there, blend it, blend, 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 blend. You really don't know how it's going to turn out until it dries a little bit is the thing. And I'm not taking... You know, it takes a while to do this coloring, and so that's kind of why I'm not really taking the time. Because then we wouldn't have time for the rest of the stuff. Um, I'm going to come back in and add a little bit more dark, just a little bit more dark, just to give it a little more, I don't know, something. Just to make maybe the highlight stand out a little more. There we go. That's the purple. And what do we want up here? How about blue? How do we do these in the blues? We got a couple of blues here. Let me try this. Blue. Ooh. Not fond of that blue. And this blue. That's too much of a difference. Okay. So I'm going to come, this is going to be my lighter blue, and I'm going to come around all this, and around all this. Let's see how that's going to turn out. And then I'm going to do the darker blue. Make sure that's that blue, yeah. So now I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to use the darker around here and around here. Then I'm going to come in my lighter again and just bring it together. And you may not see too much of a difference. But I think you'll see some. Okay, so lighter. Oops, I didn't mean to overdo, overlap that. And then these here. So that I can come in with the darker there. And it's already wet for that. So I can come here. And then in here.
and come back with the light and just finish coloring it in blend it together see if it looks like there's any kind of highlight no it doesn't let's come back with the darker color it's not much darker as the issue so I'm just going to come back and add some more of the dark and it might just give it a little bit more shadow shade whatever you want to call it in highlight but not too much it really isn't it really isn't doing anything let me see what that looks like let me See what happens if I come in the middle with this. Come in the middle. With that. It kind of bleached it out a little bit and put a little bit more color. Let me get this, some color right there. They didn't fussy cut the this. They just glued it on the card. I don't know. What I was thinking, fussy cutting. Okay, so we got everything ready to go. We're gonna start with the black. Oh, I meant to get. Black. Okay. Then the pattern. All right. Didn't line up all that straight, but it's good enough, I think. It's just a little note card. It's so small that it really isn't going to be. Anything but a little note card. And I would take now and just snip that down. And now this goes and I did want to show you kind of what I would do a little bit, but See, now alcohol markers are supposed to do that. You're supposed to be able to see them through the other side. So. And then, like I said, now I've lost, I lost the die. I was supposed to cut this out. And I thought I was being so careful. Here it is. Let's see. If this is big enough. Huh. Just. Just big enough. And I'm going to get. One more key. And. I want a brand new one just for this. Oh, oh. Should probably tape it down. I'm just going to run it through. Okay. 
Okay. And then this would go here. Just, they don't have the little tail. <coughs> they cut their little tail off. Just a note. Um, here we go. Just a note. Okay. So there's that, right? That's their version. 41 minutes, I really, really did not have time to do my version. Well, let's just go ahead. I have, let's do this blank. I'm just gonna do it real quick. So, Matt layer. Let's do brown. Let me get. I'm not even bringing in my paper cutter. I'm just going to do all my quick stuff. Okay. So then this would go down, right? Let me make sure this looks about the right size. There we go. Okay. Tape this down. Just doing this really quick. We got this. I'm going to use their recipe, but I'm going to use it my way. Okay. Now a pattern. We need a pattern. So I'm going to use this. Let me do it. I'm going to run it about there. So just use the card to, as my line to follow to trim. If none of you have seen me do this before, I used to do it all the time. I don't know. Why I stopped? Where's my opening? Okay. I want to make sure. No. Not. Not a big enough. Why didn't that line up better than that? I don't understand. What you do when you do this. If you want to try it. Is you put the paper twice as big as you want your mat to be. That way when you come up, you got the right on both sides. But this is not coming out right. And I don't know where I'm off. I need to go by the mat. Double it. So that 
should be good, but then I come and do it. And it's not right. It's a good way to get a straight cut, too. Usually. Not always. <laughs> but usually. Okay, so that's better. Okay. That's definitely better. Ugh. Okay, not straight. Not a straight cut, but that's all right. Okay, and then it wants the stripe across. And what did I do with the brown? Oh, here it is. Okay. So the stripe across this, there's no way I'm going to get this straight. But I'm just going to do it anyways. That if I wasn't in such a hurry. I like to bring it way down. Not just a little down. But quite a ways down. Okay. So let me put some tape on here. I got it stuck, stuck. Okay, so. Bring it quite a ways down, trim. Just making sure I'm in the right place. And you need to make sure you have your opening, you know, that you're not doing it upside down and backwards and all of that, whatever. Um, okay, then it has the fancy layer. The, 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 the fur here. Okay. So I'm going to bring this back. Because I need to do this anyways. Right? i got to put the other ones away. And all of that. So I'm going to come. To my stamps. And I could have. Used this just to note again. I think I'll save it. But I'm going to put this butterfly away. Very rarely do I use a stamp as my topper. And really that's all it is. Is a topper. So now what I need is the fancy. And I'm going to use this and... This and I am still following their recipe, so it's still going to look like the same card. But I don't very often use the squares, and I don't, you know, I like to kind of keep things. What's the word? Um, and I like my paper to show in the background, all of that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is see the pinks, see all the pinks and the pink. I'm going to try to find a pink that I can use. See, like I think that pink, that's too bright. I need a very, very muted, like, 
perfect. Okay. I'm going to use this. And I probably wouldn't use this really on anything. This color paper. So that turned out real good for me. This is the original. So I'm changing it up, right? I got a different shape going here. Oh, come on. Okay. So that's there. And then I have to decide what I'm going to use here. I don't want white because that would be too stark because I don't have white here. And my thought is I want some more of this. Problem is, what am I done with that paper? So you could do a coordinating. Oh, here it is. You could do a coordinating, or you could do another color, or you could just do it again, which is what I'm doing. And it might look too flowery to you. Or whatever. You know, everybody has their own opinions on this stuff. But I am just going to look. If I don't like the way after it's done, then I can use it for something else later on. Right? And I could use something that coordinates like that, right? But so now. If I want to, I could use the other side. Don't want to. And see, I still like that. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to get my pen again, my tape pen. I got a lot of mess on here, but that's all right. I think this is going to be really pretty. I think I like these papers. <laughs> I do. So this has to go on here. And then this is going to go on here. So what I'm trying to tell you, I guess, is don't be afraid of using these recipes in a way that you want to. Now, I could bring this down. I guess I will. If I can. If I can get it down, if it's not too late. Okay. Okay. I bring it kind of centered like they theirs is pretty much centered I don't think this is going to look right if I have it completely centered and now I don't even have it on straight do I it's got to go over that way well it's going to stay I guess then I'm going to add some more of this paper and I'm going to stamp this little bit where it did I put the ink pad away and everything. I'm just <laughs> gonna go ahead and stick this up here. Cut my piece out for the sentiment. Just like they had it. Mm. 
try to be straight. Doesn't mean straight. There ain't nothing about that straight. And I would do that. And the topper. Like I said, for me, it's not very often that I'm going to use. A colored stamped image. So for the most part, I'm going to have a topper. And this could actually come up. And just for you, I think it looks better down. And bring in some pearls or something. And there's that. So just changing it up but using the same recipe. Just changing it up really a little bit. I changed the size, I changed the shape, and I added more dimension to my topper. All right, everybody. Oh, almost an hour, but not quite. So I got you out <laughs> in time. Okay, if you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank y'all for joining me. I hope you join me again. And everybody have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.